welcome back. I hope everybody had a safe and pleasant Fourth of July weekend. I did. I Absolutely. did. I'm standing up nice and straight here. Yeah, that's right. Very good. You're not wobbling anymore. You're not weaving. I see you're starting around a little ochre. Now, you might not know that oh. the Senegalese from Africa, in their language, call this little vegetable Guimi Gambo. Guimi Gambo. Now, guess what dish came out of the name of that word? Guimi Gambo. Gumbo. Gumbo came out of Guimbi Gumbo, the okra scene. And do right you know okra. that in some families they make two pots of gumbo, one with and one without okra? I never heard of that. In my house, uh, dad would say, go eat outside. Get out yes. of here. We got gumbo. Yes. Get out of here. What's going on? But we're not making gumbo. We're not making no. gumbo no, anyway. No, no, no. So, Jana, what are we doing here? We're doing a chicken and okra stew. What's going on at the Culinary Institute over and at Chef, Nickel we State? We got all kinds of exciting things happening. You know, we just started up our culinary medicine program this summer. That's happening right now. Now, you doing it with Lady Lake? Uh, no, sir, with LSU Med. With LSU Med, That's okay. right. Well, and Thibodeau Regional is getting involved as well. Um, but I'm really excited about this new program that I hear you're working on the curriculum about for a food manufacturing facility. Yeah, you know, so many so many young chefs are saying, I don't want to go into the restaurant business and work seven days a week. I want to work five days a week. So we're creating the food manufacturing curriculum where you can still wear your chef jacket into a food plant. And you can work for and Chef John Paul's and, and you can work five days a week in, f in food and food manufacturing. So there's two new programs at Nickel State. And you know, along that with that comes on. research and development, uh, lots of opportunities. A lot of stuff in culinary, y'all. Come see us at Nickel State University. Johnny, so, how's that okra going? Okra's coming. Getting, getting brown. We have getting our brown. chicken. Okay. So we're doing an okra stew here. Now we're going to go in with onion, all celery, trinity. bell pepper, garlic, all the trinity. And I want to thank Dr. Clune and all of the board at Nickel State University for putting all of their faith in developing one of the great four-year college degrees in cooking, the only one in the world as of today, the only four-year Bachelor of Science. So I have my chicken wow. going. Congratulations. We should probably start adding, you think we should add our tomatoes now? It looks I'm, nice and brown. Put your tomatoes in there. That's good enough. Just dump it all in so there. So you're kind of stewing that down, right, Chef? Is yep. that going to take some of the slime yeah, yeah, out yeah. of that okra? That's gonna, the acid's going to cut the okra. You can throw everything else in here. What all do you right. got? I'm doing sausage and oh, ham. All right. I'm, we're starting around, y'all. All right, John, that looks beautiful. Lift, you know, we say we eat with your eyes. Look at that, how beautiful that is. The okra and the tomatoes cooking together and all of the beautiful flavors of the, of the meat here and uh, seasoning. Throw it on in there. In. And this is just going to be a good sauteed or braised, just a nice okra dish. This is a side dish, a vegetable. That's good, Janet. That's plenty enough. We put enough stock in, enough Let's chicken see. stock, to let it come to a rolling ball so we break the okra down nice and smooth. And it's become, yeah, thank you Sorry, so much. Chef. And John, don't worry about it. That's I what showered you. No, no, don't worry about it. Now, that way I can tell people I've been cooking all day. Oh anyway, y'all, that's what it looks like when it's all said and done. A beautiful side dish for okra. And even people who don't like okra, will love this dish right here. Beautiful dish.